Welcome to another Metters Musings video. My name is Chris. May 28th, fast approaching, and that's a big day if you live in Canada, Australia, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, Spain, Switzerland, and the UK. Of course, Apple's iPad officially goes on sale in those countries May 28th. Now, for those of you who will be traveling to the States before then, this is a common question I get. How do I get iPad apps onto my iPad? A very common question. So for those of you who will be getting an iPad before May 28th, this is for you as, as well. Of course, I should mention in July, the iPad goes on sale in Austria, Belgium, Hong Kong, Ireland, Luxembourg, Mexico, the Netherlands, New Zealand, and Singapore. So this video will help you guys out if you happen to be in the States or you get somebody to ship one to you uh, and you want to know how to get apps onto your iPad. Of course, because right now it's only available in the States, the App Store app does not work. When you sign in and you uh, try to use the App Store app, you'll be prompted with a message. Your request could not be completed the App Store is not supported in this country. So what do you do? Well, it's quite simple. There, are, You can create an American iTunes account. That's probably one of the easiest things to do. Uh, so therefore, when you log into your, your iTunes, iTunes works perfectly on the iPad once you get it all uh, activated. It should be no problem. You can download your music, your TV shows, your movies, etc. But if you want the apps, of course, you can't download apps from the iTunes app. So what you do is you log out, you create an American iTunes account, log in using that, and then your App Store app on the iPad will work and you can download apps directly onto your iPad uh, uh, that way. Um, I have done this with my iPhone. What I don't like is the fact that once uh, it is released in Canada, I'll just use Canada as an example as that's where I live, um, then it becomes a case of you having to keep logging into your American account to update the apps that you bought on your American account and then logging onto your Canadian account to update the apps that you bought on your Canadian account. So it gets a little bit tedious that way, but it is a very easy option. The other thing is you have to find a way to buy American iTunes cards. Now you can buy those prepaid Visa, MasterCard, uh, cards at various stores and purchase your apps that way. But another easier way to do it is to, of course, use your computer. Just use your iTunes account on your computer and I'll show you that uh, right now. So when you launch iTunes, you do notice that, of course, you have your regular tabs, music, movies, TV shows, app store, podcasts, audiobooks, iTunes U. But what you do to find an app is in the search bar, Type in iPad, do the search, and what that does is it brings it up and you'll see right here iPad apps. So I will click see all and this just brings you up the list of all the iPad apps that are available. And you can scroll through and look at them all, click on them to see the description and there are pages and pages and pages of apps. Pretty much all the iPad apps that are available are available uh, for my purpose, the Canadian iTunes store. There are a few, the uh, Apple ones, pages and such, not available to us. So if you do want those ahead of May 28th, you will have to have an American iTunes account. But otherwise, pretty much all the apps that I want are available on the Canadian iTunes store. You just have to search and find them. I go to different sites and look at reviews and such. But yeah, this is pretty straightforward. You just download the app, you sync up your iPad, and there you go, you have your uh, app on your iPad. So the one website I do enjoy using is appshopper.com. What I do is I select iPad, so that just brings me up the iPad apps. I search all, you can do popular, paid, free, updates, new price changes. So if you wanna see all the latest apps that are being added, you just click on the new tab. Some apps have changed in price, they've gone down, they've gone up. Again, that allows you to filter them by that. But you simply just scroll through, it has all the iPad apps. If you find one that you might be interested in, 
you just click on it it brings you up a description much like it does in iTunes it does give you screenshots as well and if you're interested in buying it you just simply click on the price and now what this does is this redirects you back to iTunes where you can buy it now if the app isn't currently available in your country of course you will get the error that it's not available it cannot find your search but as I mentioned pretty much all the iPad apps are available so I hope this helps you out if you are going to be in the US and you are able to find a store that actually has the iPad in stock. If you are going to be there before your country officially gets the iPad, I really hope that this helps you uh, figure out how to get your apps onto your iPad because as I said, you can get them all on the iTunes store. There are a couple that aren't available in certain countries, but pretty much all of them are available through iTunes. It just takes some time to find them on your iTunes, on your computer, and then sync them over. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please rate, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think, and I'll be back again with more videos. Thanks very much.